So we need to import React from React. And then we need to import React routers. So there's two things we need. We need router and then we need routes. Uh, if you don't know what they are, I suggest you read the documentation or I can, I will do a tutorial later on um, in depth on how this works. But for now, I think you should get a good idea of how this works based on the example that I'm going to do. So we also need to import three things, the app, the JS, the app component, the contact component, and the not found component. Basically the routes, uh, so basically the way React Router works is you tell it what route that you should go and what components should handle that route. So we're going to need to, need to import all these components into this file. So we just need the app JS on the same path. And then we need the contact page. This will be a pages contact. And then we need to do not found from pages, not found, not found. So this now we have the components imported. We're going to create a route for this. So let's do const routes equals props. Don't worry about uh, if you're not familiar with, with what this is, but um, it's for other functionalities for like props passing between routes. But for now, we're just going to keep it very simple. So we start, we had to wrap everything inside the routes pro, um, components. So here it is. And then we need to close this. So now we have a router components. And then you need to define how you want to structure your app. So for our app that we're going to do, I want when I go to let's say slash contact, it should render the content of contact under here. So it'll basically work like a single page app. So I want to nest stuff. So in order for that to happen, we need to to create the a route first. Let's create a route. So this route will uh, basically wrap our application. So basically for slash, we want it to use the app components. Basically, uh, this is saying when you're on the home page, use the app components, render it. And then we need to some sub paths. So if I want to do, want this to behave like a single page app, I need to uh, configure it to work like a single page app. So you'll see what, what I mean later on, but let me just set it up. So if I when I this is this mean if I go to slash contact, I want the component called contact to handle this path. And then for the 404 route, I can do a star. This is saying for every other route that you found, I want you to use the not found uh, components to handle it. So basically, any route that you don't define, it will be handled by the not found components. Okay, there you go. So we have some routes set up. Now, remember what I said, I want to um, have the app here be the wrapping app. This is the main layout and any path I want it to appear underneath here. Basically, this becomes a single page app. So for that to happen, I need to go to app.js and make a small change. I need to go to app.js and then I need to, I want all the content of all the different routes to appear under in the app intro div. So to do that, it's very simple. You just do this.props.children. It will render any children that this app.js has. So we here we specify that these two are the children of app.js and we want them to render these pages here, basically right beneath this line of text. So we made a modification to app.js and now it understands that. And then we created a route.js. We need to export this file. 
Now, once we export this route file, we need to use it. So the, the location that we're going to use it is going to be inside index.js. So we are going to need one more thing from, we're going to remove a bunch of things, but we are going to need um, browser history, also from React Router. Now this one will help us help the router router understand when you press the back button and then have the native browser um, history API to handle you know navigations. So now we have this in, we need to import our routes. So you just do import routes from routes. All right, the file that we just created, we can import it. And then we can, oh, this is CSS I removed. I can import index.css. Can't forget that. Now in this React DOM.render, we're going to update this thing a little bit. Instead of saying we want the app like this, we want the, the routes that we specifies we specified earlier to handle our application. So you just do routes history equals browser history. Now this will allow our router to understand browser history and then it uses our routes to handle our application. Great, so when I, I just noticed I press save and there's no errors. So let's uh, add, go, go back to app.js and we need to add some links so we can test it out. So the first thing we need to do is we need to import the link, link component from React Router. This is basically how you do href in uh, with React. So this will help us um, not create navigations easier in the React Router way. So I just wanna do Underneath this text here, I want to create three menu links, and then when we click on them, and we'll see if it works. So you're going to do link two equals. So I'm just gonna do this. So this will create a href to uh, backslash, which is the home page, and then with the text called home. So if I press save and you can see, oops, this is the content. Did I press save? Hmm, it's weird that it doesn't show up. Um, let me do this. Let me see if there's any errors. Doesn't seem to be any errors. Oh, there it is. So I don't know why, but it didn't show up, but now it does. Um, we're just gonna copy this a few times for our contact page and our and the, a 404 page. So slash contact. And then here we'll just make up any routes. It should be handled by the 404 page. So there you go. Now I created these links and it's time to test it out. So if I go to contact, you see it works. It renders the con content of contact down here. And if I go to bad link, and it didn't work. Now we need to figure out why that didn't work. Let me go to routes. Now here we're saying for any other path, we just want the component not found to handle it. Uh, if we go to not found, right, this is the component that we made. Hmm, that's very interesting that nothing showed up. Hmm, let's see. That's a, uh, actually don't know why, but that should, Supposedly, it should give you a link that does not exist, and it should take you to the correct component. So maybe I messed up something there. Um, let me see. Oh, I spelled the word component wrong. So if I do this, I should do it. 
There it is. So it's bat link. So if I press home, it's home. Contact, it's contact. Bat link, it's bat link. So there you go. Sorry about the little error there. Um, I hope you find this tutorial useful because now you can start bootstrapping your single page app with the React, Create React app very easily. This video was brought to you by DigitalOcean, the best cloud computing service designed for developers. Start your private server in as little as one minute. Choose from a wide selection of preview images such as Node, LAMP, Docker, and WordPress, hosted on multiple regions around the world. Use the link in the description below to get $10 off when you sign up. I'll see you in the next video.